coastline is a, is a dynamic system. It's not, it's not a stable system. Um, the coastline moves as, as weather patterns change, as, as seasons change, and over longer periods of time. So the, the, it's not a simple boundary where you can draw a line and say, right, well, there's the sea and here's the land and, um, you know, that's, that's, that's it. It moves all the time. It's interesting, in the Cape Peninsula particularly, what happened is historically there used to be a huge migration of sand. Now we're not seeing the replacement of sand taking place anymore. So you're seeing the micro, microcosmic sort of effect happening in, in Sandy Bay, where the sand isn't being replaced from Hart Bay. Sandy Bay is becoming more and more rocky. Uh, Lundodno is not getting the sand replacement. What's going to happen to Sandy Bay and Lundodno historically? And again, that's because of poor planning. And even though it's not in the coastal zone, it's having a huge impact in the coastal zone, and it will historically. Um, I think the uh, aspect of, of climate change that has most gripped the public imagination is the one of sea level rise. As, as the recent report uh, that has been put out by, by the city, it's indicating that uh, coastlines around uh, Gordons Bay, around the Strand, um, around Sir Fishuk Beach, uh, it mentions Sea Point specifically, uh, Milneton Lagoon, uh, Big Bay, um, are all going to be susceptible, if not to inundation from a particular sea level rise, certainly from impacts of, of storm surges, which are very much associated with, with climate change because of the intensified storm events that we can expect as a result of uh, overall heated oceans. We, we need to stop employing politicians and directors that sit on their fat asses and think, oh, I've delivered because I've done one little bit. Instead of doing the whole picture, no man, as long as I've done that far, I've done my job. It's not about that. Then it's again, we're coming back to where government has to speak to the developments, to the people that must do housing, to the health department, to the socialists. So it's not one department only, it's a collectiveness. So we really need to manage how development happens around the coastline, um, and especially in future, how, how we manage issues like sea level rise, uh, climate change, um, in such a way that, it's, that we have a sustainably managed coast for, for everybody. <laughs>